Hi, I'm Sandy Harris with Premier Yarns, and today I want to show you how to make this gorgeous scarf, which is called the Twizzle Scarf. And you can find the, the scarf itself and the pattern on our website, www.premieryarns.com. The scarf is made with two of our popular yarns, Starbella and Starbella Flirt. The scarf is made on a circular needle, which sometimes tends to intimidate some of our folks, but there's no reason to be afraid of the circular needle. It works just like a straight needle. And today I want to show you how to do that so that you can have this gorgeous scarf in very little time. First of all, we'll remove the wrapper from the Starbella itself. And we need to pick up a total of 96 stitches. Now with Starbella, for those of you who are familiar with it, you take the time to spread the yarn apart such as this so that you find the top loops. Now when I start mine, I usually just turn in at least once or twice the edges so that the, the rough edges don't show because they will eventually bury themselves inside the scarf. You then proceed to take the needle and it really isn't significant as to the size of the needle, although small points work better with this. Larger ones can be a little more um, cumbersome. You pick up the top loops, such as this. You put the yarn through that one, and then I fold mine and line up the, the loops as best I can. Grab those, and for the first couple, just pick the top loops and go through every one. This is called casting on when you use the um, yarn with the holes in the top. And you just continue to simply pick the top loop and slide it onto the needle. This scarf takes 96 loops, which is why you need the circular needle, so that you can fit them on there and not have them fall off as you're working. Continue to pick up the loops until you have 96 using this Starbella first, and then later on we're going to switch to the flirt. But the first row, or the first cast on, is done with the Starbella itself, such as this, picking up every loop from the top, pulling it down, spreading it out, and picking up the loop. Once you have cast on your 96 stitches, we will begin with row one, again using Starbella. At this point, we will begin to knit as normal, picking up the top loop only, every loop, and knit the stitch in the normal fashion of knitting. Notice we're using the circular needle, but we're treating them as straight needles, the two points such, the left and right, as usual. Pick up your top loop and knit. You're going to do every loop. Notice here, as you hold it out in your right hand, you can see the top loops. Just put the needle in there and knit it over to the other side from left to right, just as you standardly knit on straight needles. It's the same way. But because you'll have such a large number of stitches, you need the extra room that the loop of the circular needle provides. So you'll complete row one using Starbella, grabbing every loop until you reach the end. When you reach the end of the row, you'll grab up those double loops that you made at the beginning as you folded it in and complete the row as normal. Grab those two together because they were the folded end. Finish now. My stitches are over here, just as they would be if I had straight needles. I'm simply going to turn it around like this, and the other side of the circular needle is now in my left hand, ready to begin row two with the Starbella again, holding it out like this, thinking, you know, in your mind you can say, well, it's just like straight needles. Here they are, but your stitches roll around the hoop so that they are not crammed on your needle and possibly falling off. And then, you begin to knit the second row with your Starbella. Again, pulling up the loops. And it is a good idea every now and then to stop and just straighten out the loops so that you can see them easily, remembering you're trying to grab every loop of the Starbella to complete row two. And now we'll complete row two. We're now going to complete our second row using the Starbella, going into every loop. Just a few more stitches, and we'll have the end of the row again, spreading it out so you catch every loop. Notice at this point your needles 
will seem just to be like straight needles, only connected so that you have all that room. All right, when you come down to the end, this is the point where we're going to change yarns. There's the last stitch. I would say cut leaving long enough to weave in when the project is complete, maybe six inches. Cut that yarn because you're going to be doing six rows using the Starbella Flirt. Turn your needle around. Again, this end of the circular needle now is in your left hand. Leaving a tail, again, of this yarn so that you have the flirt with a tail to be woven in at the end. You're now going to proceed to use the flirt for six rows. And it will be done in the same manner except this time you're going to be using the top row of holes opposite the ribbon. You're going to be catching every other stitch, not every stitch. So leave a tail approximately six or seven inches and once again holding it in the position where you would hold your yarn. Your needles, just like straight needles would be, only the circular. And you're going to start into the first stitch, pick up a loop of the new yarn, and you're now ready to start. As you can see, it's right here. And we're going to use every stitch on the left needle, every one on the left needle, every other one of the new yarn. So skip that one go into the second one. And you'll see that it's easier to get into that yarn that way than trying to grab every stitch. It makes it a little tight. Every stitch on the left needle, but skip a loop and get every other loop at the top of the flirt. Here's one. You don't want it. Take the second one like that. And it now shows up on the other side. And you can keep sliding your stitches up closer here to use on the, on the left side so that you can have them handy. Skip one, go in the second one. Watch again. Go into the stitch, skip one, go into the second one. Just like that. You're going to do this for six rows. This is row one of the six. And it's going to make it look so fabulous. You will see as you proceed that it looks just so nice. All right, so we're going to complete this row. The whole scarf takes 10 rows, two at the beginning, six in the middle, and then we'll go back and do two more of the regular Starbella. Okay, we're about to finish off. our last row using Starbella Flirt, and it's going to be just gorgeous. Every other loop, as you can see. When we come to the end, we still have to do two rows, use the last two rows, using our Starbella. So once again, we finish the row, we put down that needle, leave a tail, Six to seven inches is good. Turn the needles around again, putting the working needle in your left hand as usual. Pick up the regular Starbella. Again, spread it apart so you can find the loops. Find the top loop the next, just after you've left your tail. Let's leave a little longer tail. And then pick up the next loop and you will begin again to do the knitting. And this time, remember, go in like that, take your top loop, and again, remember, we have to use every loop on the Starbella as opposed to every other as we did on the Flirt. This will give it the nice, roughly look that you want. The Starbella itself is very roughly. The ribbon needs a little help. That's why we did every other loop. And you'll complete two rows using the Starbella. Off is now completed. We need to do our bind off. And once again, the bind off is done in the normal knitting fashion using the Starbella, top loops, every loop. We go in and knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, and then leap the back stitch over the front one in the usual leapfrog manner that we use. Knit another stitch as this, leap that one over. And we'll proceed to do this all across the row, coming down to our last loop, at which point we'll cut again, leaving a tail about six inches, pull that tail through the last loop on your right hand needle, 
and you will be complete. At that point you will then thread your ends that are hanging off there and into a needle, into a tapestry type needle and weave in your ends and enjoy this lovely, very lovely, very easy to make twizzle scarf.